If you've got the 80th anniversary Thor, then you know what a great figure it is. And you also know that that cape doesn't allow him to make poses that are truly dynamic. We've got to change that. But I want to change that with a wire inside a fabric cape. However, I don't want the stitching to show. Let me show you how I did that. Let's get started. So I've seen a few videos on capes and capes for sale on eBay and a lot of them are actually very nice. However, there's one thing that stops me from buying those and that's the fact that there's a seam or stitching visible on the outside holding a wire. Now, as you can tell on this particular figure, it's only held at the shoulders by a little bit of glue and actually that glue is kind of strong so you actually have to tear it out even though if you heat it up with water or a hair dryer it's pretty hard to remove. Now once you remove the cape from the shoulders you'll have to clean it up either an X-Acto knife or using your Dremel tool. If you do use a Dremel be very careful that you don't go through the plastic because it is soft. Now I've seen a lot of other videos regarding the cape for Thor and I've seen some on sale in the eBay stores. However, I refrain from buying those because I don't like the stitching showing up on the outside. Well, this is the cape that I have worked out. Here's the pattern. I've drawn it up for you ahead of time. And as you can tell on this mat, it is roughly seven inches high by roughly six inches wide. Now, this is my actual failure that I'm showing you, but this is the preliminary. Now what I'm showing you with the screwdriver here on the left side is the outline that I'm going to stitch. And there's also a line on the inside. And that is where I'm gonna add my wire. I'm gonna add a pocket on the inside for the wire. This is the result of the material that I used, which is not the best. It's a beautiful soft red material. It looks great in hand, but it doesn't stitch properly. And this is one of the reasons why I don't like certain capes done like this, because it looks like a parachute, like a pillow sham. It doesn't look good. I do love the color though. Now, this is stitched with wire on the inside. And this is using that pattern that I showed you earlier. Now, I made another change. I did the same pattern, but I used a different material. Now, I've got the same pattern, double line on the outside here. You can see two lines there. That forms a pocket once you stitch the inside and the outside. This is the stitching here for the neck. And this is now cotton material. It irons out so much nicer. You can put pleats in it. It's lightweight and you don't have to glue it together to make it um, a two-sided, uh, in this case, a two-sided cape. So now you can tell that it is still seven inches high. It is still six inches wide. So it's the same size. However, this is the result of doing it this way on this piece of material still using the same pattern and again i just wasn't as happy with it as i thought it was going to be let me show you what it looks like now this is the result of that same pattern on a different material the same cut the same stitching however it's better stitching on the bottom because it's actually round the other one was kind of oblong but in any case, you can tell that the material is actually a lighter weight and thinner, and it looks that much better. But as you can tell, it is not majestic looking. It is not, doesn't have that billowy look of a, of a cape for Thor. It looks good, better than the other one because it's a better pattern, and it with the wire you can actually do some posing with it it's really nice to have a cloth cape 
but it still needs some tweaks. So this is what I ended up doing to the next cape. I ended up having to change the pattern slightly in the actual sense that I actually added more layers, I should say more material. So I extended the size in the height and the width. So I actually went a full eight inches square, eight inches high, eight inches wide same material which is cotton and I used the same pattern as far as making the pockets for the wire on the sides now I don't add a wire on the bottom because once you add a wire at the bottom you'll never be able to have a relaxed fit or a relaxed look let me show you what I did to gain that extra material on the back to make the pleats this is the cape on the left, the one that you just saw in that video. So it's, well, it's another failure, failure number two. Number three, I've already finished. I'm using a spare or uh, a remnant of that material. I've cut it down a little smaller, smaller, but you can tell here's the pattern. I've made it wider and I still have my double lines on the sides to add that pocket for the wire. That way you don't see it when you turn it inside out. and. This is what I did to gain my extra material. I brought it in from the sides one inch. So I gained an inch on this side and then I stitched it and then I went to the other side and I brought it in one inch again. So now I have two inches of material that are in excess in the center making it more of a uh, like a pocket. Now once you've got it stitched on the sides, both of those double lines, then you can stretch out the center once again, meet up your edges, and stitch that collar. You will now have a uh, air pocket in, in between the two layers. You don't have to sandwich it with glue or anything like that. Just turn it inside out after you stitch the bottom, iron it out, and now you can go in and iron your pleats on the shoulder area. That way, you can have your pleats running all the way down to the bottom, giving you that effect of a folded cape. Here, it doesn't work because the material is the same on both sides, or the same size. And as you can tell, removing the wire from those pockets, it's really easy, it's not gonna snag, there's plenty of room, and you didn't even know they were there because the stitching isn't visible. So now let's compare all three capes. The third one is on the right. You can tell what a difference it is from the first one to the third one. I'm really liking the third one. It is so much bigger, so much nicer, has more volume, and look, this is a museum pose here. It's got pleats in the back. It actually looks good even at a standstill. Now, the cape on the left Ugh, it just it just looked really bad. I wouldn't want anybody to own anything like that. Matter of fact, I threw that one away. I didn't even want to see it. Now you compare it to the second cape, it looks better, yeah, but it doesn't hold up. It doesn't really show off the figure, and I, I just couldn't use it. I, I had to change it. I really like the third one. This is what I would sell to somebody. This is what I would do to customize somebody's figure. The most important thing is here, the stitching is not visible. It still has the wire on the sides, both sides, but you now have pleats. It gives it more character, gives it more form, more shape. And you can still have that wire running up to the shoulders as you can see there, because you have that billowing look over the shoulders. Now let's take a look at the dynamic poses with this cape because it totally changes the figure. Here you go. This is what it looks like once you change those wires into shape. As you can tell, you don't need a back wire. It holds the shape just fine. If you want to have that uh, bottom wire, you can certainly do so. Just keep in mind that to have that same look, you'll have to create a pocket at the bottom as well and have it a separate wire. If you want the same wire, 
keep in mind that sometimes moving that wire around tends to um, it tends to twist it instead of actually bending in the shape you need. As you can see here, this is even more dynamic and it can hold just like it is for days, for months, because of those two wires. And as you can tell, it has more mobility for the arms and the hair. Here's a different pose. Again, it's the same cape. You just change up the wiring. And because there's two layers of cloth, the one in the bottom has a different characteristic than the layer on the top. The layer on the outside or top is the one with the pleats and more fabric. So it has, and because it's not glued to the other, it has its own characteristics. It looks really, really good. Now, if you want to go even further, you can actually starch it and do some more stuff with it. But because it's cotton, you can iron it and you can take out those wrinkles if you don't like those. And of course, if you want more character to it, yeah, the starch can help you out with doing some of those different dynamic poses with the cape alone. But it's one of those things that once you fix it in place, it's there. Having the two wires mo have being mobile, look at this. You can be as dynamic as you want, change it up every week, every day. I really like the way this turned out. So I'll leave you with the rest of this clip. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you liked the video. And of course, keep customizing your figures. I'll leave a link at the top for you to see other videos on cape customizing. We'll see you next time. Thank you.